So here is <clears throat> spot where I <clears throat> do writing when I'm at Drew University here in Madison, New Jersey. And this is the spot where I do my writing. And here behind me, coincidentally, is the collection of the library's holding of Nietzsche. So it's a very nice coincidence. I was inspired to make this video because I was looking <clears throat> for a book edited by Walter McNola. And it's the moral and ethical history of the Indios. And I was directed to this area down here, these stacks. And when I got down here, let's see, here we are. Very dramatically, the stacks get very dark. And the book should be here, but it's not on the shelf. And then I noticed that there was a lot of empty shelf space here. This is the section devoted to books on or about pre-Columbian and or Native American histories. This looks like a good title, Colonial Entanglement. But what really struck me was the amount of empty shelf space. So if you think about that overflowing section that's just devoted to Nietzsche, both his writings and the secondary stuff, although I think it's all primary. Look at this. This is all the empty shelf space. Now, there's two ways to look at this at least. One is that the library just doesn't have the holdings that it should and could have. And so they've left space open for future holdings. And the other way to look at this is to say that actually what we have here is the gap that I talk about in my being and learning which is the space of possibility. So I tend to look at it as both what's not here and what will or could be here. These are the shelves, the gaps, the spaces that can and will be filled at some point. And this is part of why I'm inspired to do this project that gets underway in earnest next Tuesday when I present at Columbia because rather than looking at a wall full of books and feeling that it's kind of Sisyphusian pushing that boulder up I see here lots of space possibility emptiness that's going to be filled up can be filled up and will be filled up. And that's kind of inspiring. <clears throat>